Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today we're going to be taking a look at another box or at least a mailing envelope from Going Gear EDC Club. But before we do, make sure you are subscribed to the channel, ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we're back with Going Gear EDC Club. This is a monthly subscription service. If you are interested in this service, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. You can check them out. They got two boxes. They got a standard and a premium. The standard is 60 bucks a month and the premium is $199.99 a month. So very, very, very big difference in what you're gonna be paying. And you know how we do it. You know which box we get. Trying, I'm kind of curious to see what, why they sent this in a mailer because we got our box. Okay. Well, that's cool. We got some going gear bubble wrap. Let's see. Let's go ahead and get into this first. see what what uh man, what is what is this about let's see all right okay so let's see dear valued edc club member let's see what we got okay let me get my glasses uh oh they're they're, they're apologizing uh oh uh oh buckle up Okay, it says, Dear Valued EDC Club member, we would like to extend our sincerest apologies for the delay in the shipment of your order. We uh, understand that timely delivery, blah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, this is an item that was missing in your February 2023 shipment. The Ace Beam uh, flashlight. Okay, then they go on to say, we want to assure you that we are doing everything in our power to expedite the monthly EDC club. Unfortunately, there are unforeseen for, uh, circumstances that cause delay. Yeah, I get that. I get that. The world's gone crazy. Uh, I understand. We appreciate your patience and understanding during this. Yeah, yeah you got my understanding. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. Eye to eye. Please know that we value your business. And yeah, okay, all right. It's from Daniel something. I'm not even going to butcher that last name at Going Gear. All right, so I totally understand. I get it. And to be honest with you, I guess maybe I'm a little, I'm a little dense or something because I didn't really realize that something was missing. Maybe I did. Maybe I don't know. But anyway, it's a little Ace Beam poke light, double A, EEC flashlight. Well, I've been getting a lot of flashlights here lately. I got a, I got a bunch of headlamps that I want to kind of get out and I got to figure out how to do a comparison of like go outside at night and like you know put them on and try them out and I'm gonna tell you one thing this thing it looks cool man it's this copper color I like that that's that's boy that's 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 swag right there and it's vacuum sealed too man they really they, they really going all out and it feels like it's not you know a coppery plastic you know this thing's got it's got some weight to it oh wait a minute speaking of it's got weight to it check this out it's up there it's got some it's got some it's got some dust on it i got me an actual scale and i can actually use it now let's see uh i didn't mean to accidentally turn it on okay let's see what this thing weighs because like i said it is heavy it is it's not just plastic Okay, let's see. Unit. This thing weighs 91.4 grams. That's, 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 that's a lot. 91 grams this thing weighs. All right. All right, so I'm kind of excited. Impromptu there. I get to use something that I bought that I've had for a very long time that I don't ever use, and I actually got to use it, so, yeah. Being productive, right? All right, it's very cool. It's very cool. And of course, it's not loaded. 
doesn't have any batteries in it. At least it doesn't. <coughs> Good lord. The batteries going this. Oh wait, they got one of the little protectors. All right, they got one of the little battery protectors to keep her from from running down. And and actually, okay, all right, all right. They give us one of these little Type C rechargeable batteries. I like these, man. I love these, and these are just like my my pale blue batteries. Or the same type, right? And this is a 920 milliamp battery. I, I dig on this. This whole design of, of these types of batteries, I really dig on them. Woo! Okay. It went from... Whoa, it's got another... It went from that, okay, which I was like, oh, man, I was about to say, man, this light sucks. Then it's that. Then it's that. That thing is bright. I mean, yeah, that is bright. Holy smokes. Can you, can you focus the beam? Okay. It doesn't seem to be... Yeah, and on that high setting right there, whew, that thing puts it... It's, it's hot. It's that that emitter is getting hot. Just that quick. I mean, but that, that thing is throwing out some serious light. Light at my bear. And you know what's crazy about this? Not, not to derail this. No one said nothing about my bear right there right here it's a cool it's a cool picture I know you guys can barely see it but you can see you can see homeboy's nose right there but it's a picture of a forest you know with the trees and stuff and it, it it's you know drawn into the shape of a bear I love bears so that's that's just side note sorry I saw something shiny I didn't mean to derail this but yeah this is a cool flashlight and they give us some gaskets some replacement o-rings it looks like for the compartment there that the battery goes in to provide some some level of water waterproof tightness going on and they give you a little charging cable for that one battery it does have a clip which is nice because it has let's see let's see okay the clip you can pull the clip up and use it traditionally or you can clip this to a bag so i like that that is really cool that clip hopefully that that shows that shows up you can see how you can use the main body of the clip and then you can use the clip itself on this side so you could you know you could you could clip it to something like a hat you know like this and you could that that's really cool i, I dig this i dig this and then they give you this which let's see okay we do have a little hole which i'm not going to mess with but there is a hole cut out on the top of the clip that you can run this through so you can have it on a, on a little uh like a lanyard type type of situation going on so yeah all right man i'm excited we ain't even opened the box we ain't even opened the box yet all right let's get this party started it's not taped up because it don't need to be all right let's see all right all right let's see what we got is there a card is there a card is there a card all right here we go okay going gear edc club Okay, we got we got the, the the usual breakdown of the premium and the standard box, and we'll set that to the side for now, and we'll just pull some stuff out. Okay, Waka coffee and tea, light roast, instant coffee. Okay, it is freeze dried, eight single serve packets. Okay, and it says just pour the coffee into a cup, add 8 to 10 uh, fluid ounces of water, stir, and enjoy. Let's see. Are these made into little, you know, little, I'm assuming since it does say they're little packets, I'm assuming these are all, and there's eight of them, eight single serve packets. I'm just, I'm nosy. I, I want to see what the little packets look like. All right. And these are, you know, your typical fair that you would find in like an MRE or, or a, a ration, you know, just some instant. I don't know if this is, what, what is this like spray dried or freeze dried? Okay, We've got some freeze dried coffee. All right. I, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so this kind of stuff is, is, is lost on me. You know, I'm not a big coffee, coffee guy. So, yeah, I'm sorry I just smelled that. I don't know why I just did that. Thinking maybe I could smell some coffee, like maybe one of them was you know, ruptured or something. So yeah, okay, we got some coffee that, uh, you know, unfortunately I, I don't drink, so 
but you know it's nice to, to get that because I know the majority of people out there you know I'm one of the outliers that doesn't drink coffee and people look at me like I'm crazy when I say I don't drink coffee and this is a ace giant mouse so we know this is going to be a cool knife because giant mouse really cool company that I've been exposed to and well, we got a we got a bunch of stuff in here what is this? It looks like we got a sticker and a pouch. And you guys know I rant on the stickers, but if the stickers are cool, you know, magically, right? I'm cool. I'm cool with them if I like them. And if I don't like them, that's when I get all uppity about it. Let's see. Okay, what is this? A Viking ship depiction with some shields and some fire and some like dragon heads. Boy, this is some this is some uh some Viking looking stuff right there. Let's see. Okay. All right. We'll have to check that out and see what they say. Okay. Well, there's all kinds of stuff. All right. We got a thing from Giant Mouse. Does this thing fold out? No. So this is just like a card. I swear. Is this a sticker? It feels like this is a sticker. It is a sticker. All right. Uh, I have to figure it out later. Well, we got this cool Giant Mouse sticker. Which is cool because I like, you know, getting stuff from brands that I like, you know, so I don't have a problem with that. And let's see. Then we got from a Sharpeners. What, I don't know, Unis, another sticker, but it's one of them raised, one of those raised stickers. So it's not printed, well, it's not just a printed piece, but it's, you know, it's got some texturing to it. There you go. Pretty cool. All right. Wow, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And then the patch here, and I, I, maybe I'll, did I say that? I don't know. This is a patch. So we got some Velcro on this side. So this is an actual patch you can have. And if you like this and you wanted a sticker of it, well, there you go. Then they give you a sticker of it. Then we got the giant mouse sticker. And then here's the sharpener from the the other the other sticker it's, it's a different type of sticker man okay well uh, all right okay all right that's cool i like that the the from from giant mouse i like that that's a cool sticker with the with the knives i like that that's 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 tight i like that all right look look i i, I was a hater i'll admit i was a hater okay i was i was drinking the hater aid these companies are making me come around to the idea of giving me stickers. And, you know, as long as the stickers don't suck, you know, if they give me cool stickers. I won't talk no smack. So, yeah. All right. So this is, what is that? What, what is, what is this? Coop, oh, a Kubi knife. Okay. Oh, snap. Okay. This is an, this is a, this is an expensive, this is an expensive knife. We'll save this one for last. We'll go with the giant mouse. We'll see. Oh, check this. Look at this. Look at this. The Nibbler. <laughs> I love Giant Mouse. I don't know about you. I don't know about you guys, but, you know, for some reason, the, the Giant Mouse, you know, they, they have, I don't know. I just, I really like Giant Mouse. If you're not a fan of Giant Mouse, mouse knives, man, well, you're doing something wrong. Okay. All right. Here, here's the knife. It's called, it's called a Nibbler. <laughs> it's called a Nibbler. That's awesome. All right, and it's vacuum sealed, or not vacuum sealed, but it's sealed in this little plastic. We got it. We got to free this little guy. Look at that. Pretty, a pretty sort of, uh, you know, standoutish green, anodized going on there, with a wire clip. We have a wire clip on one side. Let's see what kind of blade? Oh, look at that. Kind of like a. Kind of like a. I don't know. What, what do you guys call that? What do you guys call that? Like a. Not a, not a scalpel shape and kind of not, well, it's kind of a sheep's foot kind of shape. And I know this thing's probably going to tell me exactly what it is. Uh, does it? Come on. No dead air. No dead air. No dead air. Uh, I don't know. Okay. But anyway, here we go. It's just a little, it's just a little guy. It's just a little guy. You're going to, you're going to get two fingers. You know, you're going to get two fingers on, on the on the knife, so your grip's going to be two fingers in your thumb, and then it's going to have to sit back, you know, in, in the toward the palm of your hand. But yeah, and it's got a liner lock, 
it's very light because obviously this is going to be some type of aluminum stuff with some uh, some anodizing uh, going on. So let's see. Let, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and take a break real quick and read about the nibbler. Okay, so this is the Ace Nibbler. It's a compact and efficient folder that works great as an EDC in areas and situations that size matters. This might be a small knife, but it checks all the boxes you'd expect from a Vox and Enzo design. Okay, it was inspired by the character Nibbles, Tuffy Mouse from the cartoon series Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Dude, now I love it even more, man. <laughs> I love it even more. Nibbles may be small, but he sure is mighty. All right, there we go. Okay, it has a 2-inch N690 steel blade, aluminum handles, and backspacer, okay? And I will, you know, okay, it looks like the, the clip, the wire clip is reversible because we do have some indentions here on the, the other side. You can see up here we have some indentions that the wire clip can seat into with that, that screw lug there. So you can... Looks like you can swap them, and we we do have a lanyard hole on the tail sticking out there, so you can you know you can do some lashing here, and we do have a skeletonized hole here. Uh, obviously, you can see that in in the actual knife itself. So we do have some skeletonizing here and on the tail. So you can, and the knife does have a a good point on it, so you could you know in in really hardcore situation you, you can do some looping this to a stick and you, and you could use it as a, as a as a spearing implement so you could do that and yeah this is just just a very pretty little knife you know these these seriously super small knives are to me and this is just my opinion and you guys can sound off in the comment section down below what you think about it but these small knives are hard to get right you know this is an area where the to me there's not a whole lot of middle ground like the, when you when you start shrinking the knives down and making these little small guys they either they, they're they're good or they're really bad like there's no there's not that much middle ground at least for me and this thing i like this 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 guy is so cool and it is it's very very small and you can see there it's, it's very very small but it's a very pretty little knife i love it solid very solid we have a real big piece of, of a material in the tail to really give the, the small frame really a lot of rigidity and you can see that lug there on the on the on the blade is is, is very big that that's a very big lug so this this is this is a very very seems to be a very sturdy well-built little knife yeah love it I love it I love that knife all right okay now we're gonna get into the this 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 expensive knife. This expensive knife. We're gonna we're gonna switch it up. We're gonna go to some expensive stuff. Ooh. Okay, we got a we got a little card here with a little QR code we can scan for some more infos. And we got a nice little microfiber gold, a little microfiber cloth. And let's see. Man, I got I got nothing in the frame. Put all kinds of stuff over here. So put the little put put our little rose gold flashlight, which technically uh, this was not included in this month's box. It was a supplemental item from from another box. And we got some coffee. So I'll put the coffee right there, so you can see that. All right, let's check this thing out. And again, we got a knife that's sealed, which I do like. I do appreciate them sealing the knives. In, in the bags and this one was actually sealed with a desk kit so I, I do I do appreciate that oh man okay okay it's I like it oh man I don't know how I'm gonna be on this blade though this blade's got some this blade's got a whole lot of, of, of shapage I mean look at that look at that that cut down into the blade there and the jimping up up man this blade's got a lot going on but it's it's a pretty knife it's it's a it's the it's a very radical color like it's um uh, what would I, I don't even know what I don't, I don't know what i would call that hopefully that that's that's coming through on the camera 
but it's like striations, you know, and it's it's this, gr these gray earth tones, you know, and the lugs up here are blue. Uh-oh. Okay. Unfortunately, I did have to cut that because I did have to sneeze. So I didn't subject you guys to that. But <clears throat> the knife, you know, is it's a it's a it's a pretty color and and the contrast of these of these blue pieces on the thumb deploying tab and it's it's on both sides of the blade. So it's it's on both sides. And the main lug being being this this blue anodized color contrasts this really really good. So let's see what we got here. I gotta do that again. I gotta do that again. Okay. I, I misfired. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice deployment. I say that, then I, my, my finger slips off the, the, the thumb screw again. Again. All right. <clears throat> All right, there it is. And it does have a frame lock. We are rocking a frame lock. We've got some texturing, some jimping here on the, on the run up right here, which is good. And we have some inset texturing on the standoffs right here on the, on the tail, going toward the tail, and then actually on the tail itself. And let's see. In the hand. Let's see. Okay, in the hand, it feels good. It feels good in the hand. Thing I don't like is this right here. It would be nothing for me to run up onto the blade, on, onto the sharp part of the blade, because the sharp part of the blade starts right here. I'm in my grip right here. It's, it would be nothing for me to, to actually get my finger, to rotate my finger over and get into that. I, I know it's not something that's common that you're going to do. You know, you're not going to run up, but... It's just one of the things. It's one of the things to make note of. Okay, here's the other side. The, the, now, the thing to me, this this shape is it's 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 got a lot going on, right? The shape of the blades, it's got a lot going on. I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, man, go, going gear, they they threw. It feels good in hand, like it feels, this knife feels good in hand. And you can see the, the, I've got just enough real estate there for a full grip. And like the, my thumb is, is where it needs to be. Like if I close my eyes and I, and I put this knife in my hand, I'm good. But then when I open my eyes and I look at the blade, I'm like, man, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on with this, with the shape of this blade. I don't know if I like it or I hate it. I don't know. And I guess the, the question can be said, you know, does it really matter? Right? <laughs> does it really matter? Let me know in the comment section down below. D does it really matter? The, the shape, the, this shape. You know, we do have a pocket clip. I guess I, I should tell you guys that. Which you could see, it's got a pocket clip on one side. And it looks like the pocket clip can be reversed. You can swap it around to the other side, so that, that's good for all us, you know, for all you guys out there that, that need that need that. You got it in this knife. It's big, you know. It, it's I, I don't know if I'd say big. It's definitely not small. Let's just say this is a medium because well, okay. I would say this is on the larger side. Let's just say it's on the larger side. But, man, let me know. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this knife because this knife is, is definitely something that's throwing me for a loop. I like it. I don't hate it. You know, I really, I don't hate this knife. But it is something that, that is, that is making, me, making me think. It's, it's throwing my senses. It's, it's an assault. It's assaulting my senses. Especially coming from the, the little ace. You know, the, little, the giant mouse knife. This one, it's, it's, an, it's an assault on my senses. Okay, let's see. Like I said, if you're in the standard box, you're in the standard box for 60 bucks. Okay. 
Let's go through the standard. You would have got the giant mouse nibbler. They got a $95 price tag on that knife. You're in this for 60 bucks. So you're getting that for 95. You're getting the, the swag pack from Giant Mouse, which was the stickers, you know, all the stickers and stuff that we opened. Okay, and that was free. It says free from your friends at Giant Mouse. So Giant Mouse, thank you very much for, for including that to, you know, for this company to give to, to all the customers. I, I really do appreciate that. And you got the Waka coffee. Waka, Waka some coffee. You want some, want some, want some Waka coffee? Eleven ninety nine on the coffee. And I would say that's probably about right. You know, coffee's expensive. What's new? Okay, so that would have been your... Let's put this over here because that's not part of it. Okay, this would have been your standard box. These two. These two things. For 60 bucks. And I'm going to tell you this. If you would have received this knife, if unless you just absolutely hate knives this small, you would like this knife. I dare somebody to tell me that... You know, unless you just have a hardcore hatred for small knives, there's, you like that knife. I'm just going to say that. I'll go out on a limb and say that. Okay. Now, step up to the premium box. Obviously, we're adding the Kubi Knife Monster Dog Titanium Handles at $174.95. Now, we're in this box for $200. Bucks. So, $175 of it is just that knife. Plus the ninety-five dollars in the Ace, uh, the giant, the giant mouse Ace, and then twelve dollars for the coffee. Okay, so let's see what they have to say about the Kubi knife, Monster Dog. It says it's a folding knife that stands out from the rest. Its unique blade shape. Well, you got that right. It resemble a it resembles a monster or a dog's head when held horizontally, giving it an edgy appeal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Monster. Guys, monster? Or a dog's head? Does that, does that look like a dog's head to you? I, I don't, okay. It says it gives it an edgy appeal. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna let you look at that again. Does does do do, do you get an edgy appeal? I, I don't know. Uh, with a smaller and wider blade, this knife is stronger and more reliable for everyday tasks. It's compact size. It's not that compact. Unless let's, let's just be real. It's a bigger knife. It says it features a satin finished sheep's foot blade. Okay, so it is sheep's foot. Made a CPM 20 CV steel with a durable 6 AL 4V. Man, that's a whole lot of flim flam. Titanium handles and a frame lock. It also comes with a titanium pocket clip and pivot cap uh, and pivots on caged ceramic bearings. Like I said, this thing has a really good deploy. It, it deploys very, very nice. With an overall length of 7.01 inches and a weight of 4.80 ounces. It says it's an ideal EDC knife for those uh, seeking something smaller but equally reliable. Okay. Yes. This is something smaller than you just straight up carrying like Excalibur on your side. But it's not that small of a knife. And oddly enough, this is a small knife. This is a small knife. I like it. You know, I, I like it. It is different. This, this is something, this would, this, it's a good knife. Let's just say that it's a good knife. The deploy though, I don't like how... I have to go to the deploying studs because I don't know. Maybe I, it, okay. Look, look. It's just me. Okay, it's not the. It's me. I'm not used to to the studs being this far back. Like if you see, okay, and I think you can agree with me. You see, usually your your deploying studs are generally a little further to the pivot to where the the actual blade's going to pivot out. So you're, you're, I'm used to deploying more out here, not back here. So this is kind of, well, I don't even know if you could see what I was just doing. But I'm used to deploying, I'm used to deploying like right, maybe right here, not back here. So I'm pushing instead of, instead of, I guess what I'm trying to say here is instead of me rolling the blade out, I'm pushing, I'm pushing the blade. See, when I do that, it's fine. 
and and that that is just an action. It's not an action I'm very much used to doing, because you know when you get used to deploying your knife, and your knife has a certain geometry to it, you get you get that that memory right that. But yeah, once you once you deploy this thing like I just did a couple times, it becomes it becomes you understand what you need to do to get the blade to deploy. And this is so bad that I've spent this much time on deploying a, a knife. God, I'm gonna get trolled in the comment section so bad it's not even funny. But there you go. I do like the knife. And the blade, I will say this about the blade. The blade is thick. There's a lot of meat there. Like you, you can see that. There's a lot of meat. So this is a workhorse. This is gonna be a working knife for sure. You're going to get a lot of use out of it. Action is very smooth, but $175 price tag, man, that, that puts this in a different, you know, in a different range. This puts this in a different category of knife, you know, having, having that. So, yeah. Okay. That's all I got, guys. I think it's cool. I like this knife. I like the, I, I love this knife. This little guy here is a home run. It's a home run. And the coffee, which I won't drink. So, yeah. And uh, this little rose, uh, rose gold, uh, you know, light that that came. Oh boy, God, that thing is bright. Look at that. Look at that. Is, that is crazy. That is crazy. And it's bright. Like I got, I got a lot of lights right here. And, and and the fact that this thing is this bright. Like look at that on the table. And you guys just don't know. I got one. I got five lights right here. There's five lights right here. And there's two big LED panels right here. So I'm like blinded and and look at how much you can still see that that is crazy this thing is bright all right sorry hit the comment section down below can't wait to see you there and with that i'm out of here guys i hope you have a wonderful day let me know about what you think about going gear edc club did i mention i'm gonna have a link to them in the description box of this video man oh man i hope i did struggle struggle video i'm 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 i'm, I'm having problems there's going to be a link to them in the description box of this video go check them out if you do check them out though make sure you know, name drop me. It would help me out. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyway, with that, guys, I'm out of here. Hope you're doing well, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.